Don't you get sick of looking at a web page on your phone only to get an intrusive message that says, to continue, download our app. Why do so many sites do this instead of just letting us use our web browser in peace? It turns out that there are plenty of reasons for it, some of which actually benefit you, while others are quite a bit more selfish on the part of the app developers. Let's start out by talking about the good stuff. Apps can be coded to run more smoothly on your phone than web pages often can. You see, whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone, apps can use that phone's operating system's APIs. In simple terms, this means apps have a more direct connection with the phone's underlying features and hardware, making it much easier for the app to use the camera, location services, positioning sensors, you name it. Developers can therefore tailor their apps more effectively for a specific platform, whereas web pages have to be more one size fits all, which typically means clunkier. This cleaner connection to the OS means the experience isn't slowed down with poorly written scripts or advertisements being loaded from some faraway server like you see on web pages. Because phones are built more for efficiency and battery life rather than raw computing power, a web page that isn't well written can consume much more of your phone's resources than what you might see using a web browser on desktop. Apps also often work more quickly because they can store vital information and resources on your phone locally instead of having to wait around to get them over the internet. But even though a correctly built app can make a lot more sense than a web page, not all apps are coded very well. And that's not the only reason you might want to avoid an app if you can help it. We'll tell you more about the pitfalls right after we thank Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Brilliant is a visually stimulating website designed to make learning STEM topics Fun! Trade long, boring lectures for problem solving and interactive visuals. They have over 60 courses to choose from, including their pre-algebra course, which lets you start your algebra journey in a low pressure environment, letting intuition guide you along the way. Trust your instincts. Join the community of 11 million learners and educators today. The first 200 people who head to brilliant.org slash techwiki will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Unsurprisingly, apps provide an easier way for the developers behind them to track your activity. Instead of doing this through a web page, which you probably close once you're done with it, an app that permanently lives on your phone can give the devs much more information about your location, which can be pieced together with other data the app gathers, sometimes even through other apps, to learn more about you, assuming you haven't opted out. Now, this information is typically used to serve you content and ads to get you to you guessed it, spend more time on the app. It's kind of clingy. Even if the app isn't keeping super close tabs on you, apps make it easy for developers to keep users in their own little safe bubble. Think about how shopping apps contain loyalty cards, how an app for sports tickets might contain a link to buy team merch, or how a fast food app gives you personalized offers. Being able to build out an app in this way is extremely valuable to the companies that publish them, as studies have indicated that users are much more likely to purchase something through an app than on a web page. And of course, apps have an oh-so-charming way of nagging you via notifications to engage, a buy, a consume, even when they're closed. Something you just can't do with a web page. And even if you turn those off, Apps have another big benefit that really isn't high tech at all, brand awareness. Every time you open your phone, you'll see that little brand logo staring back at you in the form of an app icon. Of course, that won't automatically entice most people to open up the app and click an ad and spend money, but if a developer releases an app that reaches thousands or millions of people, the revenue from the small percentage of folks that do think, huh, you know what? I could go for some Taco Bell right now, really starts to add up. So unfortunately, you can expect to keep getting pestered to install an app for the foreseeable future, but we'll never ask you to do that. I mean, what, what, what could we possibly learn from your viewing habits, LTTstore.com? And thanks for learning from us by watching this whole video, assuming you didn't already know everything in the video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. A lot of people forget that. You know, so like it's, it's pretty simple, you should remember, so.